वेलकम टू माय साइटपोर्ट डायरीज टूडेज टॉपिक वर्चुअल यूजर्स इन साइटपोर्ट लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम जितेंद्र गाणेकर आई एम एन साइटपोर्ट टेन डॉट नेट सर्टिफाइड डेव्हलपर आई एम एन साइटपोर्ट आर्किटेक्ट फ्रॉम मुंबई वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन टू डेज व्हिडिओ द प्रिव्ह्यू ऑफ द व्हिडिओ वी विल सी अ बिझनेस यूज केस वेअर वी कॅन यूज अ व्हर्च्युअल यूजर वॉट इज व्हर्च्युअल यूजर how it works and we'll see a sample code to use it so let's start virtual users in site so let's see business use case assume that you have an uh, application or a page where you have a free one section where we will having a free video for all the video users where there is whereas another uh, section where only the registered users can view those videos okay so this is your functionality with uh, when user uh, is not logged in he will access the first part and if user is logged in he will access both the things uh, the, the the bottom part also and the upper part also okay so you on your system you have a two kind of users one is anonymous user and another is a authenticated user anonymous user can access this free video uh, uh, for all users and whereas they cannot access the uh, the the videos which are for the registered Now, authenticated user will get authenticated authenticated via Facebook, Gmail, or third-party login like also Radio or something like that. Where the uh, this all these authenticated user will have the access to both the things, uh, the free video also and the registered video also. And these users which are authenticating authenticated is not stored in the Cycle Security database. Okay, so this is your uh, requirement, and you have created your uh, tree where you have a public video separated. Uh, your private uh, videos separated so this is the user requirement where you have to manage the uh, user permissions on your website so how can you do that so this is the one of the business use cases where you can use a virtual uh, users okay there are two option we, which we, uh, uh, which you can have or two solution which you can have if you are a hardcore dot net developer you can use a mvc action filters okay but as as you are developing it in the site core that then it's the best thing to use is a virtual user now what is virtual user the virtual user is a user object created in memory as mentioned in the last slide that the users which is which is getting authenticated are not stored in the site core security database so the users which is getting created is will be created in the memory so virtual user is user object created in the memory that do not physically exist there is no physical user in the database in the security database this user object can assign administrative rights roles etc but this virtual user which is stored in the memory can act same or can have the same functionality which is which are which is same as the security database once the virtual user has been logged in it is it is used by the system and it was a, a, a real user so once user is logged in then it is it's treated as a real user so this is how uh, this is what a virtual user is let's see how it works step 1 so first step is you have to create a site core roles in the site core with the same name as in the external service so let's say, say assume that you are using azure ad in azure ad if you are you are having a user and that user is given a role as a say uh, X, uh, role a then that uh, that same name role you have to create in the site core okay that is the first step okay then second step is apply permission to site core item as per the requirement to your role in the security editor so for that created role, role a you assign the permissions like in the our example you have a private window and a public window so you assign it uh, the access to both the windows okay and uh, then you can uh, you you can have the you can use the security editor to assign those uh, permissions third step is now on login button so when you are log in your website 
when you are logging in the website that code which you are going to write on the login button authenticate your user against the external service so whatever service we are using facebook azure ad or, or gmail whatever whatever you are using you authenticate against that external service once it is authenticated external service will return you the user object which will have the unique user id and some of the uh, services might return you the role also like azure ad will return you to the role also if it is not returning the role you specify the you create your own role okay then the uh, once once this programmatically you are authenticated the user you will get the user object then the fourth step will be build the virtual user okay uh, so how to build it that we will see in the next slide for with the for the code but you the the fourth step is the, to use the virtual user to build the user virtual user as this is the website uh, user the domain will be external domain or whatever domain which you are created for your website so that domain against that that unique user id you build the a virtual user okay then the step five once your virtual user is created you add that role whatever role which is created at the first uh, step you add that role or you assign that role to that user okay that is your fifth step once you set up that uh, user once you set up the user that virtual user you can uh, you it might be the case you want to uh, apply some custom property then do that it's optional step if there is any custom property you want to set up you set up that okay and the seventh step is uh, programmatically you log in that virtual user into the site code okay that code you will see in the next slide so log in into the site code this is a seven step process okay first is you have to create a site code roles in site code second is you you apply your permissions uh, to your site code items as per your requirement third is you authenticate your uh, user uh, uh, credentials and create get the user object a unique id from the external service fourth is a build user uh, virtual user in your site code using your external site code domain then uh, assign that role which you, whichever which you are created in the first step to that user uh, then you a optional thing is that if you want to customize any property you customize that and the last step is you log programmatically log in that virtual user into the site code these are the so these are the seven steps which you have to pop up now let's see the uh, sample code okay so first thing is a build virtual user so for all this activity you are going to use the authentication manager class okay so authentication manager dot build virtual user will uh, build virtual user is a your method which will build your uh, virtual user so that that will be uh, given like external external is your domain and username is a unique id which you have received from the uh, sa, sa, the external service so this is how you will build the uh, virtual user this is a programmatically code to build the virtual user the next step is uh, add rule so assign how you are assigning the rule so on first step you are building the virtual user for that whatever virtual user you are built to assign that you have to use the method in that user itself roles dot add okay so roles dot add will uh, provide you the option to associate the role to that virtual user and that can be done by from name okay site code or security accounts dot role dot from name method so you know the name of your uh, uh, role which you are created in the step one use that role okay it will give you that role and that will get assigned to your virtual user so that is your add role functionality then how to log in again you have to use the authentication manager authentication manager has a function called login virtual user that function you, you provide your virtual user it will author it will uh, log in that user within the site code and this user whatever you are created virtual user it is in the memory not in the site code database okay but once you log in it will treat as a real user and whatever the rules and permission which is applied in the site code that will get applied to that user and it will be treated as a real user and then in that case if you go back to our first uh, uh, slide where we have the functionality where the authenticated user can access both the thing uh, both the videos for the public videos or the private video video also as in the uh, as when you created the role a you have given the access to the proper private way videos so that user will also have the way access to the private videos okay so this is the uh, sample code of a virtual user and how to use it virtual user okay thank you this is a very short video okay but very important topic for virtual video if you have any question you can reach to me on my gmail id as well as of my linkedin id 
if you like the video please like the video please share it with your friend comment and provide your feedback uh, there are many users i think 60 70 percent users who are watching our videos are not subscribed so i am requesting you to subscribe to the channel please click on a bell icon to get a latest update thank you thanks for watching